welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. After a hiatus for my student teaching, I am thrilled to be back and creating art history content. To kick things off, I'm going to discuss how to craft a successful visual analysis. This is an essential skill for any art historian, so to learn more, keep on watching. Before I dive into an example of a visual analysis, it's important to understand why they are so important. Visual analysis is a foundational practice in art history. Not only does it help us to understand the deliberate choices made by the artist to create the scene for the viewer, but they also help us to see historical trends and individual elements and styles of these arts. Visual analysis has become a way for art historians to track the timeline and understand how human creativity has developed over time. Alright, now that we have that established, let's dive into an example. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using one of the most famous works in history, The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. This fresco was painted between 1495 and 98 for the refectory of the convent of Santa Maria della Grazia in Milan. It is important to note, however, that a visual analysis does not include a discussion of things like iconography, symbolism, story, etc. Instead, it focuses on the formal and technical elements like line, color, composition, form, light, and more. The first part of doing a visual analysis is taking in the piece through observation. Here's what I noticed about The Last Supper. There are 13 people seated along one side of a long table. There's a single figure in the center, and the rest are divided evenly on each side of him. The table and the people create a strong set of horizontal lines throughout the piece. The composition of the room is also balanced with four archways on each side. The room and the table are painted in a neutral color palette, while the people are painted in a more vivid shades of red, blue, green, and golden yellow. The light is fairly even throughout the work. There are shadows cast by the table and the people, but nothing is highlighted or cast into shadow for a more dramatic effect. And finally, there is a lot of emotional interaction between the figures. Now that we've made some general observation about The Last Supper, we can ask ourselves, how does each element relate to the larger goal of the work? First of all, the setting, the Roman-style house, is something we would have seen at the time of Jesus. This small detail adds a lot to the scene and would have brought the viewer into the correct time period. The balanced composition helps spread out the story so that the viewer can take in everything at once. The color is both balanced and prevalent. It makes the scene more realistic, but it's also visually pleasing to the viewer's eye. These two things are very common in the Italian Renaissance. The display of emotion helps connect with the viewer and brings them into the story as if they were there themselves. And again, the even use of light can show us the whole scene at once, another hallmark of the Italian Renaissance. By observing and analyzing this work, we can see that da Vinci used all these elements to allow the viewer to study and understand the story of the Last Supper. He ensured that we were able to see everything at once and how the story unfolded in the moment. It is truly a work of genius. Visual analysis is a key skill for any art historian to develop. This practice allows the viewer to read a painting like they would read a book. Without it, we wouldn't be able to appreciate the complex beauty that is art history.